what's up guys um this is what if deku was soundwave and shockwave part two let's get it so as we left off deku told myra about um you know what what happened at the base and basically you know she is very shocked at what happened and she, you know, smells Deku, and he reeks of blood, in a way. And basically, once everybody, basically once the arm bells, um, you know, ring, Deku, Deku grabs Myra and, you know, goes to the base. Everybody is curious, why are those two always hanging around, you know, each other? Basically, Deku takes her back to the base, and tells her that um that um there's a big mission that he's gonna have to take and basically she says okay Deku wants to bring her along and basically let's just say that you know Nezu knows about what Deku does because you know on, because on one of Deku's missions he ran into Nezu and basically Deku told him everything about himself and Nezu really didn't want it to um talk to to talk yeah talk to the um you know pro heroes about Deku. So on um, Deku, let's just say, you know, as you know, calls up Nezu saying, "Hey Nezu, can me and Mar can um me and Mara you know have like this like you know like this week off?" Basically, Nezu knows what Deku does, and he says, "Yeah, sure. Just please don't get in any trouble." It'll be a bad reputation if a you know UA student you know gets goes to jail, and basically Deku, you know, basically Myra he, and Deku gets the okay. Deku gets Myra and he just you know, you know packs up everything he needs like like um he packs up like a like not clones but like you know like some weapons that his clone made, and basically like almost like a little small Iron Man suit. And Deku, you know, builds like this little jet. He um takes Mara, you know, with him. As they were gonna go, Deku gets a call from Bakugo saying, Hey, um I Izuku. And basically, you know, Bakugo asks, Hey, Izuku, um where are you? And basically, Deku says, I'm on a plane right now. Really? That's why you rushed? And why is Myra going with you? And basically, yes, I, I, I'm making about the worry about Deku. And basically, Deku says, um, she, she kept on bugging me to go. So basically, I'm going to the US for, for a couple of weeks. And basically, you know, Deku hangs up on Bakugo saying, you know, basically, Deku hangs up on Bakugo, and Bakugo is really pissed, saying that damn nerd. Ba and Bakugo, you know, you know, really, really wanted to go to the US with Deku, because, you know, a long time, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Basically, he wanted to go to the US to make sure Deku was alright, because, you know, Literally, the U.S. is bad for Deku because you know he got that you know you know like this body right here. Everything except for like you know the helmet. He he just wears clothes or like he has like a slimmer fit of this for Deku. So basically, Deku you know goes to the U.S. Not actually the U.S. He goes to like you know not Wakanda. Yeah, he goes to um. You know where the uh, Avengers Towers Tower is. And basically, Deku, Deku, you know, goes there, and basically, and, and basically, Tony Stark didn't never died. He, like, he never died. Basically, Tony Stark, you know, goes. I mean, I mean, Deku, Deku, you know, knocks on the front door saying, "Hey, um, is anybody here by the name of Tony Stark?" 
on um, Black Panther. Basically, Black Panther oh, opens the door and says, oh, Soundwave. I mean, sh Shockwave. What are you doing here? I had a little message from you. Not, not from me, but like to from a person by the name of Tony Stark. Basically, Black Panther put, you know, puts his head down saying, oh, wait, Tony Stark? And basically, Deku says, yeah. From where? He says, like, from some, like, you know, place. Oh, they're in space. So, like, somewhere on Earth. And basically, to basically, Tony Stark never died. He just faked his death. He used, like, um, like a clone. Like an actual decoy or clone. He makes a decoy. And he, you know, puts that in his place. And basically, Deku... Basically... It said, don't tell nobody else except for Black Panther. And Deku just, you know, really just told us to um, Black Panther himself. And Deku, you know, goes to his jet and takes, you know, Black Panther to where he got the um, coordinates. And they look down and they see a fucking Hydra base. Like an old Hydra base. And basically... Black Panther told Deku who um Hydra was. It was like a Nazi, you know, thing. And Deku basically Soundwave was like, uh uh. Like, you know, no. And he, you know, sends like this armada of, you know, clones of Soundwave Deku. I mean, sound wave and shock wave, basically like a, like um, like some beast, you know, like beast robots, and basically Deku, you know, hold on. Basically, Deku told all of them to go in there and take down every last one of the Hydra, you know, people, Hydra soldiers. As that was going on, um, back at UA. Um, they saw on the news that a uh, armada of like alien, not aliens, but like you know, of robots has took has took off with like this logo on it. It's like a um yeah, it's basically like a Decepticon logo. And basically, Bakugo really doesn't know who the Decepticons are. You know, it's like a little. Sniff of what's gonna happen next, what if? So, but basically, Bakugo, you know, calls up Deku saying, Hey, Deku, ha ha have you seen on the news? There's a armada of robots that look like you. And Deku, and basically, Deku really says, Oh, okay, um, call me back. I'll call you back in a few. And he hangs up on Bakugo. And Bakugo is really mad right at this point. Deku, you know, tells Mara to get like the um, not the Hulkbuster, to, to to get like the um, you know, cannon, not the cannon ship. Like he tells, like he tells Mara to give like the plane commands. Basically, the, the plane transforms into like this berserk um thing, like a bigger version of you know this. And basically, Deku just, you know. Get, gives it the command to you know take you know take out everything except for a person named Tony Stark. And Black Panther is like, wow, I need him to join me. And basically, all that happens, and basically all the Hydra, you know, soldiers are dead. Deku, Deku, you know, goes in and takes all the data from the Hydra base. And he finds out how, he, and he finds about who Red Skull is, basically who the Winter Soldier is, what um, they're doing here, about this island. And basically, it's like almost close to Marvel. Yeah, basically, yeah. They, they could find out about this island, and he doesn't really tell Black Panther this. And basically, Black Panther goes in there. 
and it finds Tony, you know, all hooked up to machines. Basically like a robot, basically. His arm and leg is, you know, gone and replaced with a machine. And his arc reactor is, like, almost dead. So, basically, Deku, you know, took some blueprints from Jarvis. And he, you know, told, you know, Screen Ray, uh, Screen Wave to help, you know, Iron Man. To help Tony Stark. Basically, Tony Stark, you know, asked, how did you get this tech? And basically, Deku says, I learned it and took and took it. And Tony got really mad because he saw the specs of what Deku had on. It was like the Iron Man suit, but like upgraded. It was basically like this, except for his chest was like um the fog. And Tony gets really pissed at Deku and tries to punch him. And Deku just says, I'm, I'm sorry, but I had to. And basically, Tony just started questioning Deku, saying, what did you do? What did you do to my industry? But basically, Deku tells him what happened, saying, your industry is fine, Mr. Stark. I made, like, this, almost like a clone of you. What? I went to your body, not your real body. I took some DNA from your hair that you had in your brushes. And I asked one of my clones to create, like, another clone of you. So basically, your whole thing is, has been run by me. Basically, Tony's like, wow, this kid can run the whole country by himself, probably. And basically, Deku gives Tony, <laughs> gives Tony, like, his armor back. But not, like, his real armor. It's basically, like, what Deku has on, like this. But it's basically slimmer for the problem, Tony. And Deku is, you know, you know, you know, calls about to go back saying, sorry, I went into an area that had no service. Bakugo was like, oh, um, they found out the armada was like on um, a hoax. Oh, and basically Deku was like, oh, thank God. Hold on. So, as Deku, you know, catches Tony up on everything and what is going on, Tony just really surprised that, that what happened. And basically, um, basically they get back to America. And Deku tells, like, his clone to, you know, disperse. And Deku, you know, you know, takes, you know, Tony there and, and heals him up all the way to the point where Tony can walk a little bit. And Tony, you know, told, you know, asked Deku, do you, do you want to be an Avenger? And Deku was like, nah, it would be too much work and plus I live in Japan. And basically, Tony says, you know you can teleport, right? Deku was like, <laughs> sorry, no. Tony asked why, because I made a metal, and I tried to teleport a thousand times, but it didn't turn out well, so, there. So, let's time skip to, like, um, the UA attack, like, um, yeah, the um, UA attack. Deku, I mean, like, as, um, Deku goes there with Myra, Myra asks Deku, "Wait, um, what is your next um thing plan?" Basically, Deku tells her, "Like, um, like our our next order of plan is to um, you know, take take down the villains who are trying to attack, you know, this place." Basically, with you know, she Rocket being dead, they really didn't get the order until like um, you know, shit. Um, I forgot the purple guy's name. Basically, um, you know, Deku, you know, kills Shigaraki and his person who teleports. I didn't mention that in the other what if, but it's not what ifs. So, um, Deku kills them, and the whole UHA attack didn't happen. And, um, like, some villains from America came over there. Basically being, like, um, the, um, shit, I, I forgot his name, but, like, 
Red Skull really had a grudge against Deku. Because, you know, Red Skull was a dumbass. So, basically, Deku, you know, sees, you know, like, you know, since his Red Skull is being there, and he attacks the USJ. And, basically, Deku is, basically, Red Skull is looking for Deku personally, saying, Sound wave? I mean, not, not sound wave, shock wave? And, basically, everybody's wondering who, who is shock wave? And Deku, you know, runs off. And he, and um, Red Skull sees who um this is, you know, running off saying, Boy, are you Shockwave? Basically, basically Deku says, No, Shockwave is my brother. And Red Skull's like, Brother, huh? Yes. And basically, Deku, you know, tells, you know, Red Skull to, you know, come with him to the. So, you know, like a place. And Red Skull being smart enough saying, okay. He goes into like a place. And basically, they all hear like a little scuffle. And they hear a gunshot. They say, oh, Deku! Deku! Midoriya! Not, not Midoriya, like, Izuku! Like, they're all yelling Izuku. Deku, like, um, yeah. Deku, and Deku was basically in there saying, all right, that's done, and basically Red Skull was like, I can help you, boy, just let me live, Deku, you know, has, has a great idea, he tells Red Skull his idea, and Red Skull is like, no, I'm never giving up my organization. Basically, Deku really didn't care about taking over the world. He was just doing shit for fun. And just getting paid for it. Basically, Deku, you know, kills Red Skull right then and there. And he takes, you know, like, he uses his quirk to um, take all his memories. And Deku is flooded by, like, Winter Soldier Project. Basically, everything. Even Hydra's own project. Yeah. Deku, you know, walks out of there and, like, and calls from Myra saying, we need to go quick. Saying, we need to go quickly, like, right now. Basically, all the hero, basically, Deku, you know, told all the heroes, we need to evacuate the state, like, right now. And they all like, why? That guy, I thought? His name was Red Skull, and basically, in America, he is the most wanted out of all of the, you know, villains. He is wanted by the U.S., Germany, Russia, everybody. And basically, you know, they are like, wow, Deku, you defeated that type of person, yes, so everybody need to fucking go. And I was like, how, how are we going to evacuate? Deku calls up his legion, like like a, you know, squadron. Who usually is up there in Earth's atmosphere. And he calls them down in like some, you know, not bombs, like, like you know, giant-ass planes. And saying, everybody get on now. And Deku informs everybody about who he is, right? And basically, he told one of his, you know, Secretly, he, secretly, he told one of his clones to, um, like, once all this is done, I want you to go over there to Wakanda and tell them we need some help. Deku tells them about, um, like, uh, about his, you know, you know, cloning quirk and basically all his quirks. And they are like, wow, you have this many quirks? And they're like, yeah, so, I need for y'all to, you know, keep this on the down though before all the heroes know. And you're like, oh, where are all the heroes? All the heroes are dealing with, like, you know, villains. Not, like, low villains. Like, basically, world-ending villains. That, like, a court that can, you know, take out a country. So, basically, yeah. And Deku gets, like, this call saying, call from, like, an, call from, like, a unknown number. 
Yeah, who knows who it is? It's basically all for one. Yeah, it's all for one, and basically Deku, he said, "Not the time." I'm probably like, "Fine, I right, like, boy, lower your tone." And Deku is pissed, and he, and basically Deku, you know, didn't really show to everybody saying, "The fuck do you want?" All for one, and basically, if, you know, Kaminari, not Kaminari, but like you know, Kaminari heard this and he said, "All for one," and. Basically, he just started yelling. He works for all for one. And Deku hears it and he says, "No, I work alone. My intentions are none of your fucking business, Kaminari. If you think of even telling the heroes, I will have my legion burn this bitch down." And basically, everybody's like, "This isn't the same." Deku, we all know and love. Deku was like, yeah, you fucking think. And basically, you know, he's saying like, um, yeah, basically like that. And Deku, let's just say, our boy Deku, you know, hangs up on all for one, like a, like a G saying, fuck you. I'm never going to join your piece of shit of a um, league. And basically, the Basically, they're like, wow, he literally made fun of, you know, not Izuku, not, um, I mean, he literally made fun of all for one right then or there. And all for one is really not into, you know, Deku like that as like a cool person. And Deku gets really caught off guard because, you know, Deku just really just talks to all for one like that. And basically, everybody's like, wow. Surprise and flabbergasted. And, and like, Pako walks up to him with all, like, Deku. Deku. And basically, De- Deku turns around like, what? You've been working as a villain all this time and Dick says no you fool I wanted to be a hero but but uh All Might died and basically no one knew that All Might died except for Deku and Myra and they were and they're really suspicious about that like what do you mean All Might died <laughs> he ooh, you didn't know, Bakugo, but while well, me and Myra and All Might were, you know, traveling, basically, they could make it make it a whole rude saying that like he died fighting a villain in the U.S. I mean, not in the U.S. but Germany. And they're wondering like, why were y'all in Germany? And they could tell them we were visiting one of All Might's friends. And. Basically, Deku gives the cue to um, Myra and his clone, telling Myra to put on the glasses. And he, t- telling Myra to put on the glasses. And basically, basically his clone uses like this quirk that the clone has. It's called erase. Deku erases their memories, like from like what Deku said at first, and they're all like wondering where are, where, where are we going. And Deku says, I just took you out for like a little fun joyride from America to um, Japan. And now we're gonna cut to the moon. And on the moon, the Autobots and um, the Sepulchons are fighting each other. Until some, until um, not, you know, you know, you know, Starscream p- picks up a lack of detection on the radar, saying that, Master. Look at Megatron. I've picked up a distress signal from uh, from the planet Earth. And basically, Megatron sees this and he's like, get us there now. And basically, you know, they teleport into Deku's base. Literally right dead center of it. And they're wondering, like, where, where are they? And they look around and they see, like, this logo. 
I like a mix between Decepticon, Predacon, and um, Autobot logo. And I'm like wondering, what is this place? And yes, yeah, Soundwave and Shockwave are there, literally. Soundwave and Shockwave are there. Like, um, basically, Megatron tells, you know, Soundwave to go check the system. To, to, you know, see what's in this base. And Soundwave sees the same coding he would use, but, like, advanced further above, like, his. And Soundwave sees, like, like, um, tiny little robots. Not robots, like, you know, beasts. That are being fed by like you know robots, you know tiny little clones of Deku. They and and De and now we're gonna cut back to Deku. Deku, you know, drops everybody off back at UA, and he takes the you know plane. I mean the armada back up there to space. And Deku goes back to the base. I mean teleports Myra and himself and the clone to the base. And he sees like you know these robots just standing like. Standing like, who are you, boy? And Megatron looks at Deku and asks him, Why do you have this crest? And what does it mean? Basically, Deku tells him what it means. It says, basically, that crest means me. A mixture of, of, of machine, human, and a beast. And a hero as well. And they're wondering, like, a hero... And then he says, yes, I want, I want to be a hero. And basically, Megatron's like, if you want to be a hero so badly, you can die a hero's death. And Deku really didn't want to, so basically, he grew like, into his, like, his mech form, and he'd be the living shit out of, you know, Megatron, saying, you may think you're a king here, this planet is mine. Get the fuck off my planet, or you're dead. Not dead, like, you know, scrap. Or, or you're scrap. I've been wondering how this suit works. Thanks for telling me that, you know, fuck it up, bolts. And basically, Starscream gets mad at Deku for calling Megatron a bucket of bolts. And Megatron sees this, like, <laughs> Boy, you have, a cr you have a vicious spirit. Join me. And basically, Deku didn't really want to join him because, you know, Deku had other plans on Earth. Deku, Deku really gets like, nah. I'd rather stay here. And Me Megatron asks why. Because I have leverage here. You know, and Soundwave, Soundwave and Shockwave are like, what do you mean? And Deku, and Deku tells them like this, saying like, this planet has enough resources to survive me for billions and eons of years. And they're wondering like, what do you mean? Deku, you know, tells them that he found a crystal. It's, he calls it, um, not energon, like, um, like, um, like, give me a good name for it, like, you know, like, uh, like a good crystal for like a robot. It's not energon and it's not on um, dark energon, so give me something good. Basically he says that I found a crystal that um that keeps me alive for like eons. And basically they're wondering like what do you mean? And Deku shows them the crystal and it's like really black. It's a black crystal but it's like purple and black. Once Soundwave and Shockwave, you know, touches it, they basically transform into, like, you know, humanoids, like them, right here. And basically, they're wondering, like, what is this? What type of machine did you create with a crystal? Not machine, like, you know, what, what type of machine you use to create that crystal? Yeah, basically that. And basically, Deku says, I didn't. I found it. And basically, Deku, you know, I mean, not Deku, but like, um, shit, I forgot his name, like, um, basically, Soundwave and Shockwave are, like, surprised that, that, um, this, like, the human race has went further into evolution. 
And Deku tells him about quirks and everything, basically, like, you know, what Koda did for Deku. Like, you know, told him about quirks and how they work. And so I'm even shocked with her, you know, very interested in how quirks work, too. Megatron, yeah. Megatron, you know, you know, as Deku, if you can touch the crystal. And Megatron turns into, like, a human. Hold on. And this is what they look like right here. That's Megatron right there, so basically, yeah. And Deku, you know, tells him they're free to stay. But in basically in Deku's mind, he's giving out orders to all the clones to kill them and instantly once they get comfortable. And Deku, I mean, the clones do that. The clones, you know, sneak into Megatron's, you know, quarters and kills him. He kills Starscream, except for, um, Star, um, yeah, he kills Starscream and, um, Megatron. And basically, like, Soundwave and Shockwave hear this, and they're wondering, like, what are you doing? Deku tells them, sorry, but this planet doesn't belong to you. And they're like, what do you mean? Deku, you know, tells them, when they touched the crystal, he had a glimpse of what they were planning on doing to Earth. When turning it into this place called Cybertron. And they were like, oh crap, he knows. And they were gonna attack Deku, but Deku touched them. And he's saying, you will not attack me. You will be under my control and my control only, you hear me? They both, you know, stop and they, you know, say, sorry, sir. And basically, they are really, you know, like, under his control, basically. And Deku... Mm, Deku, you know, is, like, you know, telling them that. And they, and basically, Mario is, like, shocked at what happened quickly. Basically, Deku tells him, go back to them. I mean, not um, go back to them, like, you know. He told one of his clones to go... To go to the moon, and to go see the and to go see about this about these bots called the Autobots. And the clone basically is named um um Max, not Max, but like you know Stinger. They could tell Stinger to go up there to the um, moon and talk to these and talk to these robots called um Autobots. Stinger goes up there with like about a hundred soldiers. And basically, they get up there and they see the Autobots resting. And the Autobots see them and see the Decepticon logo on the ship and saying, like, more Decepticons? These idiots don't know when to learn. And basically, Stinger goes up to, you know, Optimus saying, sorry, we're not with them. And they're, and basically, Optimus like wondering, what do you mean? Are you Decepticons? And Snake says, no, we're a different type of machine. We're advanced further, further into the future, better than you. And Deku goes, I mean, Snake goes and helps. I mean, Snake goes and tells the clones to, um, you know, help out, you know, all of them to the, um, um, ship. And they're... And basically, you know, all of them are too big. So Stinger gives, you know, them these tiny little crystals. Like, um, like a darkish blue color. Like, literally dark blue color. And it turns them into, like, humans. And basically, Stinger tells them, if you take those off, you'll be, I mean, you'll turn back into, like, robots. And Stinger, you know, tells them, come on. My leader is waiting for you. And basically, they go all the way back to Earth. And they see a person standing there with, like, you know, sound wave and shock wave. As humans. And basically, Optimus is like, what is this? Betrayal? And basically, Steve says, no. This is a greeting party, sir. A greeting party? Yes. 
And basically, the clones drag out, um, Starscream and, um, I forgot his name, but, like, um, and Megatron's bodies. And basically, Optimus is shocked at this and acts, and acts like a human. How did you take them out? And basically, Deku tells them what he did. They're like, wow, a human took me. Megatron out like that. And basically, Deku, you know, really didn't like, you know, allow them to stay there. On the moon, like, literally. <laughs> on the moon. Deku, you know, told Stinger to leave, like, 50, you know, clones up there. And basically, the Autobots didn't notice this at first. Deku told the clones to, um, go, to, you know, stay up there and, um, repopulate because, look, they could give them like some, like some human DNA, like male and female human DNA. They turn, you know, like semi, semi, um, human. They, yeah, they turn semi human, and they, you know, repopulated up there on the moon. So basically, um, basically once they could did all that for Optimus and. He, he, he went out with Myra, and they ran into, like, this person, you know, who is Toga. And Toga is really not, you know, not working for her League of Villains. It's, you know, Deku killed Shigaraki and his partner, who teleports, so, yeah. Deku does Shigaraki, um, shit, um, Deku, you know, bumps into... Um, Toga and asks him, are you okay? And Toga stabs Deku. But well, the blade really doesn't penetrate, but it, it it does a little bit. And some black goo just flows out, like blackish red goo flows out of Deku. Saying, you bitch. No, not, not bitch, but like, you know, you monster. And basically, once she licks it, it tastes like motor oil to her. Yeah, she just says sorry, sir, <laughs> and she runs away. But Deku tells one of his, you know, clones who's who um follows him, get her, take her to the base, and turn her. That happens, and basically everybody's basically, um, Kaminari and um Kirishima see this, and they're wondering like who is that, and basically Kaminari says, I. It's a little fuzzy, but I remember him saying he was telling Myra to put on glasses. And basically, Deku, you know, hears this and he tells the um, other, you know, squadron to go over there and take them out quickly. And take them to the um, moon base. That happens, and um, Deku and Myra goes on their day. And that's where I'm, and that's where I'm gonna leave off. So I need a little quick question. Do you want to name the um you know the crystals, the black crystal and um the you know dark blue one? So if you want to name it, just please name them down there in the comments. And this is gonna be the end of. Part two? There's gonna be a lot more. So please, 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 please subscribe and hit the post notifications button and like this video. And this is Mad Max. Not Mad Max video. Mad King signing off.